Welcome back to APEA Dog Grooming. Today we are grooming Scrappy. Scrappy is getting a maintenance groom, which is just a bath, a sanding, and a quick touch up. So he has mats on his top knot, and I'm using a dematting tool to get rid of them. I'm trying not to pull too hard, and if I am pulling hard, I'm going to grab the base of the hair so that I'm not pulling his actual hair, I'm pulling on what I have in between my thumb and my pointer finger. Now this dematting tool has braided knives on the top part, so that is why there is a thumb rest on it so that you don't cut yourself. I have cut myself with these um, dematting tools and they sting quite a bit so always make sure you put your thumb on that rest. Now I don't usually demat dogs but in this particular case he was not tangled at all in the body so I decided to give the owner a break and demat his top knot. It was just a little bit, it was not his whole head or his ears or anything, it was just right on top of his head. And it left quite a hole in his top knot, which you will see in the end groom. But the owner didn't want me to cut too much off. And if I had evened it out, it would have been too short. So not often that I do mat, but when I do, it's just in small portions. So what this dematting tool does is, with its serrated knives, it cuts the mat from underneath. So you place it right under it, and you pull up with caution, and it should cut right through it. So Scrappy's owners were very picky on what they wanted um, from the groom. They didn't want a sanitary trim. They didn't want cleaning and they definitely didn't want me to pluck his ears. He's had a terrible history with um, other groomer salons. They have been changing salons since they've had him. He has been cut with the machine. He has had ear infections, he has had hematomas on his ears because of the ear infections, and he has had irritated belly and groin area because of the sanitary trim trims. Um, this is my first time with him, but I think we did pretty good, and yeah, I hope I see him often. They do seem like um, people who brush their dog because his coat was fairly long and he had no tangles except for those mats on his head. It's horrible to know that such a wonderful dog and he is pretty calm has, ha has gone through so many things with different groomers. I know accidents can happen. They are um, inevitable, that's why they are accidents, they're not on purpose, but it's just really bad luck for the poor dog and the owner to have gone through so many accidents in, throughout his grooming experiences. It's not fun for him or for the owner, and I'm pretty sure the groomer um, will, you know, you get scared when something happens to one of your clients and it's something that not always happens but does happen and it can be traumatizing guys it really can
All right, so we're ready for the bath. First, we are going to wet him down and then shampoo. Very good because he is white and white dogs get not only dirty, but they get stained really easily. So. So Scrappy did pretty good on his overall groom, he was very touchy on his ears, but on the rest, he was pretty good, but there is a reason for him being touchy, so I don't blame him. So I've been using this Animal Planet Oatmeal Shampoo a lot. Um, it wasn't one of my favorites, but one of my my other shampoo provider is not um, selling his product right now because of the whole pandemic. And so I was stuck using this Animal Planet Shampoo. Actually, I kind of find it... the smell it doesn't smell too fruity it doesn't smell florally it just smells like um, maybe honey a mild scent of honey and it's good for sensitive skin obviously since it's um, oatmeal and it lathers nice enough I guess not as much as I like it to but it lathers um, and yeah, just wanted to mention that. So 
So as I mentioned before, the owners were very picky. They wanted to absolutely, absolutely make sure there was no water in his ears while getting bathed. So I put in some cotton balls in there just to prevent any water from getting in and to prevent any moisture from getting in there. So before bathing his head, I'm going to put in those cotton balls. I don't usually use them. You can use them if you are a newbie. And in this particular case, I guess, but just folding the ear flap and pinching the ear canal is enough for me at least so that no water can get in. But it's better to, to be safe than sorry in this case. So cotton ball it is. So when trimming around the face, I like to use my clipper and go down the bridge of the nose and this is exactly why he has a tremendous amount of gunk under his eyes. Um, he can get uh, infection from that. It is just right under his eye. It accumulates bacteria and I don't like that at all on dogs. So. I always try to clean out that very nicely and just by clipping anything that can cause um, tearing. Some breeds are um, notorious for tearing, but his case, it, it was just, I guess, hair coming into his eyes and his eyes getting teary and that buildup just gets, just keeps getting bigger, so. I have a small plastic comb that I use to take that out, but I don't know where I put it, so I just had to use my fingers. Um, that comb is actually a toy comb, like for Barbies and stuff. It's not an actual dog grooming comb, it's just a normal plastic toy comb, but it works. Alright, so now we're just rinsing off, make sure that no shampoo is left in his coat because it can make an itch and it's pretty self-explanatory, I mean, wouldn't you itch under the sun if you didn't rinse your shampoo well enough or your soap? And now I'm just quickly but thoroughly towel drying him because he is getting blow dried and I don't think he'll like very much the blow dryer as most dogs don't. And by towel drying you will reduce the amount of time he has to be under the dryer. And I just use a normal towel. If anyone out there uses the those like swimmer towels, I'm not sure what they're called. 
but um, they supposedly, supposedly, sorry, um, absorb more time, more water than a regular one does. But if anyone uses it, let me know. So now I'm using a combination of the force dryer and fluff drying. I don't have a fluff dryer, but I do have a force dryer. So with the force dryer set on low, I'm going to use my slicker brush to poof that coat up. And what was dangling on your right corner was my camera um, strap. Sorry about that. So what I like about using my force dryer is that I can get a closer look and a clear um, view of his skin condition and I can see where he is going to need a nail trim. Some, most of my clients don't need back end nail trims because they get filed when they are getting walked. But the front paws always, or most of the time, need to be trimmed. And with the force dryer, I can see everything that hides in between that hair. So I'm still force drying him and slicker brushing him at the same time, making sure he is 100% dry. And I always use ear protection when I am force drying because my machine is really loud and 
Well, you have to take care of yourself. So this is what I mean when I say that with my force dryer I can see the length of the nails and as you saw right there, it is so much easier just to have an overall idea of where the dog stands in terms of nail cutting. Alright, so now it's time to trim some nails and I keep promising you guys this this nail trimming video but um, I'm going to do a sort of compilation of various dog nail trimming so I can get as many examples as I can but I am working on it, don't worry. And I'm trying to show you right there that there is a dot in the middle of the nail and that indicates that that's far enough. As you can see on this last nail, where the pink is is where his quick is and the nail looks white. But if I cut it, there starts to a little spot starts to appear in the middle. When that spot gets black enough or pink enough, depending on the color of the nail, um, that's when you need to stop. You need to make sure you don't go any further because you will nick that quick and your dog or your client will bleed. So always have to prevent that so he did very good on his nails just did a quick pet on his back or a praise if you will just to let him know he did good and yeah you don't have to praise him all the time you just have to praise him enough where he knows that he or she knows that um, they are doing well Make sure to get every nail and check to see if he has a dew claw. If he does, um, just trim it as a regular nail. 
some dew claws grow in a very curvy way. Um, just get smaller nail clippers and they should work fine. Alright, so now I'm just finishing drying his head and since he doesn't like the force dryer on his face, I'm using a hand dryer. I've already explained in another video why I use a human hair dryer on their head. And the reason is because he, well most dogs, don't like the force of the dryer on their face. Human hair dryer is way less powerful than a force dryer, so that is why I use it. No! hand dryer fell and it broke it doesn't work anymore so now I'm just using my number 10 blade and getting those inner corner of his eyes really cleaned up make sure that there is no hair so that they don't um, poke his eyes or anything that his tearing so again shaving down the bridge of his nose and yeah just combing everything forward and making that cut right across his face from the outer corner of his eye to the outer corner of his other eye just to make sure none of that gets in his way of seeing or anything he doesn't need all that After that, just cleaning everything up, make sure that he looks decent enough. And this is the part where you can see that he has a great big hole in the middle of his top knot where his mats were. If I were to even that out, he would have had a really short top knot. So. I left it as is and agreed with the owner that 
we were just gonna let him grow it out. So I started off with my one and, an in, one and a half inch comb on a number 10 blade, but um, realized that it was too long, so I went back to my one inch.
So what I'm showing you now is dried up blood because of the hematomas he had, because of the otitis he has, had, sorry, past tense, had, um, yeah, the dried up blood was just sitting there, so I, even after the bath, it didn't come out, so I just had to cut that off later, and he did snap at me there, I tried a couple more times, and he was still a little resilient, so I did have to muzzle him. Um, I don't usually like to do that, but better, better be safe than sorry, so. Since the owners didn't want me to pluck his ears, all I did was just shave the inside of the ear, ear flap, sorry, and so just enough so that the ear canal can breathe. So, even though he did snap on this ear, he did pretty good. Let me do everything I wanted to do on that ear. But on his left ear, he wouldn't even let me get close to it. So, just had to use my scissors and even so, he didn't like that. So, I did tell the owner just to keep an eye out make sure no funky smells were coming out of that ear in between grooms and yeah So again on this ear, he has dried up blood on the tip of his ears because of that otitis he had and that caused hematomas on his ears. So just gonna cut that off since it didn't come out in the bath. So at the end of the videos, I am now going to put both before and after pictures just so you can see the change that the dog goes through. I mean, it's pretty obvious, but some people like to watch it, like to see the actual end result right beside the beginning, so yeah.
All right, so now I'm just gonna trim up his beard, get all those yucky hairs off of him. They look terrible. They are like mats, I guess, the tiny mats. But just get rid of everything that accumulates bacteria. The hair looks orangey because it is oxidized from always being wet. So just get rid of that and on his lower lip, there's a little canal that Drool gets like caught up there, like right there, where I'm showing you. You need to cut that out. Like no shampoo, no degreaser, no nothing is gonna get that um, as white as his body because it's already been oxidized. So just cut it off, start fresh, make him look nice. Because he's a very cute pup. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, he's barely two years old. So, yeah. Here's a before. And here's an after. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for more content. And happy grooming and stay safe out there.